Today I'm going to show you how to play Rust by Monolord, and we're starting right now. For today's lesson, I'm using a first stacked custom shop DC6 set up in B standard tuning. I've got a set of 13 to 64 string joy strings on this thing. We're gonna be playing through a 90s Mad Amp built orange OR120 overdrive, playing into the low input. For dirt today, we're gonna to be using the Does It Doom Sabathi one knob boosted octave fuzz. Of course, this thing is based on mode two of the legendary Boss FZ2 hyper fuzz. Gonna help us nail Thomas's Monolord guitar tone. If you wanna check these things out, get your hands on one, you can check them out at doesitdoom.com. I'll have a link directly below this video in the description. And as always, you can pick up the tab for this lesson on both guitar and bass over on Patreon at patreon.com slash doesitdoom. I'll have a link for that as well. And with that, you can get your shit tuned down to B standard. We're gonna start out with a quick demo, then we're gonna zoom in and break it down riff by riff. Check it. All right, so as I mentioned, we are in B standard tuning here. This one starts out in the key of B minor, modulates to the key of E minor, and then back to the key of B minor. This first riff is a bit of a combination of the B harmonic minor and B natural minor scales, and it goes like this. So in terms of intervals, you've got that root here, a minor third here, and then this major seventh, which is giving it that harmonic minor feel. And then you kind of got this flat sixth, perfect fifth, perfect fourth, and then finally this flat seventh up here, which is kind of natural minor. So you've got this major seventh, which is harmonic minor, this flat seventh, which is natural minor. And to play that riff slowly, you slide into it from this fifth fret, then that open root five chord, very characteristic of Monolore to use this seventh fret, fifth string position, and then down to this open, same chord, just an octave lower. Then when the vocals kick in, he stops actually going down to the full chord and just uses the open note.
then for the second riff here, we're switching to the key of E minor. On a standard tune guitar, this would be the A minor position, but because we're down five semitones, it's E minor. This riff appears a few different times in the song, but I'm playing it the way he plays it later in the song, showing all the variations. So positionally, this is definitely how he plays it live. On the album, it sounds like a few of the notes might be in higher registers, but for this lesson, we're just gonna do it as he does it live. That chord right there is a root minor third dyad. I'm at the 10th fret on the fifth string and the eighth fret on the fourth string. For this next riff, we're gonna kick off the Sabathi and you're gonna hear the clean tone of the amp, which I've got kind of at the edge of breakup. Uses full minor bar chords rooted on the fifth string. So you've got a root, a perfect fifth, a root, and then a minor third. And you're only gonna be playing the second, third, fourth, and fifth strings. It goes like this. Now, when I'm thinking about this riff, I'm looking at the first half, thinking it has a Phrygian tone to it. You've got the root, the minor second, and the minor third. And then the second half sounds more harmonic minor. You've got the root, a major seventh, and a minor sixth. And then, of course, you're using this root note as a pedal tone the whole time. Then we're gonna kick our Sabathi back on and we're gonna play the same intervals. We're just gonna use power chords and part of it is going to be a full octave lower, so. So note, the first half there, again, that Phrygian part, you've got the root being this, then you've got this minor second up to a minor third. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new content. I want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon. With a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord and Riff Messiah producers for more content just like this. You can check out the YouTube video directly below me. And of course, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.